break. All eyes on the gas pump this morning as crude oil futures and gasoline futures are climbing. The nation's largest gasoline pipeline is shut down because of a cyber attack. Work is underway around the clock, according to the Biden administration, to get the operations restored. News Eight's Katie Wisely is live at a gas station here in town looking into what it will take to prevent a big price jump. Katie, good morning. Hey, good morning. Well, right now, gas is 295 here behind me at Speedway across the street from Lucas Oil. But that could all change Tuesday if the operations don't get back to normal. Now, the Biden administration says that it's an all hands on deck effort to restore operations and avoid disruptions. As part of that effort, the Transportation Department is loosening regulations over the transport of petroleum products on highways. They issued waivers on Sunday, allowing drivers of fuel trucks in 17 states along the pipeline's route to work past the 11-hour driving limit. People close to the investigation into the cyber attack are pointing to a criminal gang known as Dark Side to be responsible. Colonial Pipeline Company released a statement and confirmed that hackers used ransomware to shut down its internal computer business networks, which prompted the company to shut down the systems that control the pipeline as a precaution. The company has brought in a third party cybersecurity firm and working to restore its IT system. Plus, they would bring back their full system online when they believe it is safe to do so and in full compliance with the approval of all federal regulations. U.S. Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo was on Face the Nation Sunday morning. She says all businesses need to be worrying about cyber attacks. Unfortunately, these sorts of attacks are becoming more frequent. They're here to stay, and we have to work in partnership with business to secure, um, secure networks to defend ourselves against these attacks. We checked out several gas stations overnight here in Indianapolis. We found a Shell station with gas at $2.89, a Marathon at 10 cents higher with $2.99 a gallon, and then another Speedway just a few cents less at $2.97. Now, there's no telling how high those gas prices could go up tomorrow if those operations don't resume. But again, here downtown, across the street from Lucas Oil, $2.95. Live in Indianapolis. Katie Wisely, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. All right, fingers crossed.